If you are watching this video right now, you have most likely downloaded my map of basketball. My basketball mini game map, whatever. Um, and this is a video to show you how to play it. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started from where you begin when you load up this map. So, uh, here I am. This is where you will spawn when you join the map. Um, and I'm here to help demonstrate with my trusty companion Wi Fi monitor. Hello! Uh, so, anyways, um, so you'll spawn and you'll be in venture mode, most likely. <laughs> And, um, since you're going to have jump boost and saturation anyways, why not play on the trampolines for a while? But that's not the point of this map. So, um, what you're going to do, once you get all your players in here, you should hit start. And then it will teleport you into here and then set you to game mode 2, which is adventure mode. Then you can pick which team you want. So, Wi-Fi is going to be red, I am going to blue. So pick a jersey, shorts, and a blocking stick. And if you run out of blocking sticks, there's always extras in here. So, put, then put them on. And we will start the game. So when you start the game, you are teleported into here. And what you, would ha what you have to do is hit Reset Game, which will give you this button. But if you want to go back to Team Selection, hit this button, your inventory will be cleared. And, yeah. So what you want to do is the color of your team... Uh, is the basket you want to score into. So I have the blue, so I would be on this side. I would be trying to score on that basket. So I would take this button, put it right here, because I want to score into that basket. But say it was his ball, he would put it, He would put the button on this down block and try and score in here. So when I push this button, I can pick this up, and then, oh, sorry, that was my phone, if you heard that. Then I would have this basket block, and it's impossible to dribble, but you can't you can't place it down or anything. But um, what you gotta do is he cannot start hitting me until I cross this line. And what happens is if I cross this line and he starts to kill me, it takes four hits to kill. And when I land, I would respawn here, uh, and then I would give him the basket block, and it would start over just like regular everything else. And then I have to wait for him to cross, then I can kill him. But Say he gets past me and he jumps up and scores. It says red team got their first basket, and it uh, if you start like say he scored the basket and I killed him after the dragon, then it would be a penalty. And what would happen is he would get a free throw. So let's demonstrate that. So he would he can get a running start, and once he hits this line, he has to jump and try and score it in. The second line, right? Yeah, the second line. So there are a few different ways, oh, he missed, but still, uh, it works the same as a regular basket. So there are a few different ways to get penalties, like I said, killing at, killing the person after the dragon roars, um, cross, crossing the line before, like if, uh, if he has it, and say he has the ball at the beginning, and I cross the line before he crosses it, then I, I'd get a penalty and he would shoot a free throw. There's a lot you, of ways. Or if you kill someone and you have the ball. Yeah, if you, if you have the ball, like say you have the ball, you have the ball with you, and and try say you kill me. So I'm defending, or you're defending, and but then you kill me, then that's a penalty, and I will get a free throw. So it's pretty simple like that, and um, there are different like stages. So each basket gets you two points, no matter what. First one to ten wins. So say it's my turn now. So I have the ball and then he would be defending with blocking stick. If you have the ball, you have to keep it in your hand. You can't do this, so you can't hold your blocking stick just to um, just to trick them into thinking you don't have the ball. Also, if there's more than two players, then your team, like, uh, your team say we're both on blue, and then, uh, or say that I have somebody else on blue, and they have the ball. Pretend that somebody's right there with the ball. And both we both are on the same team, I can still use my blocking stick to try and take out the red team while he scores a basket. That's pretty simple with that, too. Um, I would not advise passing, because uh, very, very difficult, since it's just it's not actually throwing the ball. Oh, yeah, and the buttons at the top of the hoop. Oh, yes, uh, I almost forgot about these. So, um, when you push this button, 
on the top of the hood. It's very hard to do, but if you can, it will keep this wool block in front of it for a while, making it impossible for them to score a basket. So here, uh, try and score. Try and score, and I will hit the button. I suck. Yeah, yeah well, one more try. See, it keeps him from making it because the wool block gets in front of the hopper. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, and the game goes until somebody gets 10 points. Like, So um, let's just simulate our regular old things. So let's, yeah, let's simulate a regular old game. So um, pretend we're just, we're in the middle of a re real game and it's my ball. Let's just play it out like that, just to show them. Okay. So uh, I can stay behind this line as as long as I have the ball. Um, but uh, if you have somebody else on your team, they have they have to get across the line before the person with the ball crosses the line. So then, when I cross the line, he can start hitting me, and I can start jumping around as best I can try. And then, see, he hit me at he hit me after it went in, but the dragon didn't roar and. T uh, after, or he, the dragon didn't roar until after he hit me, so it, it's not a penalty. So yeah, uh, this game is works pretty simple like that. Um, oh yes, and that. So I, if I steal the ball, like if he misses and I steal it, then I can run and make it, and I won't have to start. Even, from if, even if I die, even if I die. Yeah, even if even if he dies, if the ball is on the ground, I can pick it up and run to the other side. And I, you don't have to wait for somebody in the middle line or anything like that. So yeah, um, is there anything we missed? Do you ever think of? Um, I don't think so. I mean, okay. other than the reset button here. Yeah, the reset button. So you can reset game. It will reset all the scores. What's the team selection? That wasn't here yesterday. Yes, I know. Um, the team selection. You can hit this button. Uh, our inventories will be cleared, so we'll basically like not have joined a team. So then I can pick a different team. I'll be red, and he can be blue. And then we have the blocking stick still. The chests will always refresh after uh, the game starts. So when we come back, the chest will be refreshed. So we can hit start game and then say, oh wait, I want it to be on blue team instead. I can go team selection and the chest, like I said, the red team is refilled and the blue team filled along with these blocking sticks. So, um, yeah, that is, hey, hey, that is pretty much the game itself. So, um... Thanks for watching this instructive video. Um, enjoy my map that I built, and um, yeah, thanks. And uh, see you guys later. I see another map. Bye.